My name is Femi Oyebode. I'm professor of psychiatry at the University of Birmingham and I'm a consultant psychiatrist at the National Centre for Mental Health in Birmingham. Um, and I'm very pleased to be here at the Ake Festival. I've just been on a, on a panel uh, dealing with the question of sexual violence, which is obviously a very important, very important uh, topic indeed. There were a number, of, um, a number of issues raised. I suppose I would want to start with what I know. Um, it's, it, is a, it is so prevalent, the business of sexual violence as to be almost normal. The WHO study of 24,000 women across the world um, showed that in most countries, over half of the women had at some time or the other been uh, victims of or have had experienced some kind of sexual violence, including, um, so we're not talking just about rape, we're talking also about uh, domestic violence, where the woman is the victim of the um, beatings of their partners, whether their husbands or their, or their boyfriends. The um, panel concentrated in the, in the, in the initial period and talked about the signal events which have occurred in the last month of uh, people in America and also in the United Kingdom, in America within Hollywood and in the United Kingdom within the Houses of Parliament, where uh, women have come out to um, finally tell the world what they've been subjected to. And the, the panel used this as a kind of entry point into a discussion of the nature of these, these experiences. If I might, I just want to emphasize that one of the points I made was that the business of sexual violence and domestic violence sits within culture and that one of the um, troubling aspects of it is that it's, it works within our culture and Nigerian culture precisely because we have very little respect for people, very res little respect for persons. And so that business of uh, lack of respect for the person is inside of the, um, the likelihood of a, of a, of a woman um, being the victim of, of, uh, of, of sexual abuse. So the likelihood of being involved in another rape incident is massively increased if you've been raped once. So, so, so I, I don't want to call that promiscuity, I just want to say that there's a, a way in which an individual who's been raped once starts to behave in a way that renders them more vulnerable to attack. We know, for example, that men who sexually abuse children have themselves often been victims of sexual abuse or of domestic abuse. So you can see that what I'm saying there is that we've got a kind of trail, we've got a kind of cycle of deprivation, a kind of cycle of victimhood. Um, and, and therefore you're trying not just to, uh, to, not just to be sympathetic and understanding of the victim, the obvious primer, primary victim, but you're also trying to find a way to recognize that an individual who sexually abuses children themselves need help. Because if we don't do something about that, the likelihood of recurrence of that behavior is very, very high. My understanding of feminism is that it's uh, women trying to find the form to make sure that what is currently lacking in human life, the equality of, this, of the sexes, that that will come to happen. And therefore, the um, part of the task of it, as I see it, is to find the strategy to ensure that that happens. And I'd, I'd be, for example, I'd be, for example, a bit anxious if I if I had uh, a European or white American come to tell Nigerians how to decolonize Nigerian minds. So it's the same stuff. That I think it's in the territory of women, and um, and so I'm full of respect for the women who do the hard work, the hard theoretical work in this area. Because of this festival, I was rereading Elfrida Jelinek, who is an Austrian writer, Vienna, who lives in Vienna, because she, she, she deals with the business of sexual violence. And the real novel, the novel that really works at it, is a novel called Lust, L-U-S-T, Lust. So that might be worth reading, given that we are here dealing with this subject matter. Um, so that's that. I am a kind of, um, a kind of. If you, if you want to say that I'm like a, you know, I love Chekhov, so I read Chekhov all the time. I read Chekhov short stories. So, so I don't want to give a name of a particular, particular short story by Chekhov, but Chekhov is uh, was trained as a doctor like I am, 
and, uh, and he was a writer and, um, and he brought his medicine, his humanity into the writing. Um, so so he's, uh, and obviously he's an exemplary writer. Mm -hmm.